Hi and welcome to madhurasrecipe.com. Today I am making kairi salonsa which means raw mango pickle. And today I am going to show you my version of making this mango pickle. Also I am going to share with you some super simple tips that will help to last this pickle longer. So let's start with the recipe. And I want to start with heating up 3 quarter cups of oil. And we want to heat this oil up till the time smoke start to come out from it. Alright here oil looks smoky hot. Now I am going to take this out and keep this aside and I am going to put another pot in that I have about uh, 7 to 8 fenugreek seeds or methi seeds. Also I have a very small piece of cinnamon stick. This is about quarter inch thick. One clove and two black peppercorn and we want to dry roast that. Dry roast till the time they change its color. Alright, all the spices have changed its color and also nice aroma has started to release out from it. Now next I am going to take them out into mortar and pesto. And after all dry roasted spices are removed, now in the same pot I am going to add this salt. Give that a mix. And you want to dry roast this salt right till the time it gets deep golden color. Now the reason why we need to dry roast this salt is this salt itself contains lots of moisture and when we mix this salt with raw mango it start to release lots of moisture from it which acts as a barrier in preserving this pickle for longer time. When we dry roast it, it helps to take out all the excess moisture from this salt which acts as a great preservative which will help you to keep this or store this pickle for years. Alright, look at that. This salt has changed its color and it's got nice golden color. Now turn the heat off and allow it to cool down completely. So here I have this star roasted whole masala in mortal and pestle. I am gonna pound this down to make it into very fine powder. So this oil that we have heated previously, it has cooled down a little bit. It's not cold, it's a little bit warm. Now in that we're gonna add a few spices. So now in the warm oil, I'm gonna add some hing or asafoetida and turmeric powder and mix that around all right all the primary preparation is done now next step is to put together all this masala first i'm gonna take this red chili powder and here i'm using deggy mirch powder which is also known as kashmiri chili powder or bedgi chili powder and the good thing about this powder is it's very less hot as compared to regular red chili powder and also it helps to enhance the color of any dish so first here i'm taking this deggy mirch powder and here i'm using this ceramic bowl next add in salt also put in this dry roasted masala powder And this is a store bought crushed methi seeds. First, mix this everything together. I'm sorry, here I have ordered these crushed mustard seeds. And after everything is mixed in, next we'll add in this oil. Add entire oil. Mix that in. Alright, this basic pickle masala is ready. Now in this I am going to add one raw mango. And here I have cut this raw mango into small chunks. Don't need to take out its skin. Now I am going to put this in this pickle masala. And give this a mix. Yum. It's looking nice. Look at this, all this curry is been coated very well with this pickle masala. Put this clear up and cover this bowl really good. Stretch out all the ends. And put tight fitting lid on the top of it. And keep this bowl covered overnight on the counter. Even though this pickle looks little dry right now, as the time goes, it will start to lose out lots of moisture from it and it will look more juicy. Alright, now here this has been marinating overnight. Now let's take a look at that. 
yummy look at that this mangoes are been very well coated with this masala looks perfect now next i'm gonna keep this bowl just like that for two weeks on the counter if you want you can have it just right now but uh, it's gonna taste better as the time goes and after 15 days i'm gonna transfer this pickle into a cleaned glass jar and after you put the pickle into glass jar also make sure that you put one clear wrap and the before you put lid on that if you don't have this clear wrap just simply make use of any clean cloth now the thumb rule while preserving any pickle is to put the sign of do not disturb over it many times we are impatient and we keep opening this lid we sometimes leak the sides of this jar as well which easily helps to rain this pickle fast if you are impatient simply you can do you can store this pickle in two different or separate jars one for immediate use and one jar for later use this way you will be able to relish fresh pickle as well as the pickle which has been marinated for longer time and here i have this jar of mango pickle that i have prepared 3 months before now it's now it's important that you put any either clear wrap or any clean cloth between the lid and this jar this will help to prevent the bugs to get in the pickle and look at that this was prepared 3 months before and it still looks nice and it's been marinated really good looks superb i really hope all these tips will help you in making and preserving this pickle for list of ingredients and detailed text version of this recipe please go to my website madhuraz recipe.com developing a new taste see you soon bye bye